Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera. Well, uh, in this video, I'm going to continue from our previous video about how are we going to use the whole wizard, okay, this one, whole wizard, uh, whole wizard command in order to create uh, few types of holes. But this time, I'm going to show to you how we can apply a whole wizard on a curved surface, alright? Because previously, in our pre previous video, I already showed to you how I'm going to apply a whole wizard on a flat surface. But this time, in this video, I'm going to show to you how we can uh, apply this whole wizard command on a curved surface. So let's say I'm going to pick my front plane as my stretch plane, and I'm going to create a cylinder whereby I'm going to uh, indicate the diameter of this circle. Let's say I'm going to make it 100 the mm, okay, the diameter of this uh, circle. So once after I already created this sketch, I'm going to extrude the boss. Let's say I'm going to use mid plane and I'm going to make the length and uh, let's see yes, I'm going to, we're going to make it uh, 400 okay 400 mm now in order to uh, create a hole on this curve on the surface of this uh, cylinder what you need to do is that you need to use a reference plane right so let's see let's see I'm going to create a true hole uh, at this side okay on top of this this cylinder so what i need to do is that i need to go to reference geometry plane which is under features tab so you go to reference plane and then my first reference i'm going to expand this will be my top plane since i'm going to create my hole true hole on top of here so I'm going to pick my top plane as my first reference plane alright whereas my second reference will be this surface the cylinder surface okay alright so I'm going to pick this one however I'm not I'm not going to apply the perpendicular I'm going to apply parallel means that my new additional sketch plane should be parallel with my first reference plane which is my top plane okay so once after confirm it should be sit this my new plane should be sitting you no know, on on this particular of of uh, each all right so you don't need to worry about that why because just now our second reference we already picked this surface so it will automatically do it for us so once after confirm, then you just need to click OK. Alright. So now, as uh, if you still remember, in order to use the whole wizard, we no need to pick our plane. Okay. We can straight away choose whole wizard, and then let's say the type of hole that I'm going to use is as what I did mention to you just now, true hole. So I'm going to pick this one. A and asymmetric. I'm not going to use double holes, but I'm going to use drill size. Whereby, let's say the hole that I'm going to uh, apply is let's say berapa eh? Katakan I'm going to make it 16. Mana 16? Alright, 16. Okay, the diameter is 16, and the uh, end condition should be true all. Okay, so once after confirm all these, okay. What you need to do is that you just need to go to the positions and this time you need to pick the plane one which we have created just now. So just pick this one, click this one, right? And then we just simply locate, let's say I'm going to make sure that it, uh, this particular of guideline, the dotted straight guideline uh, appear. Then you just simply click, click, all right? And then let's say I'm going to make it here normal too much more easier for us to, to have a look or to refer 
to uh, at this particular obsession then after that i will go to smart dimensions and i'm going to look at my distance from here to here or you can pick the inch here as well but at least i'm going to pick from this center point of this hole to this origin let's say i'm going to make the distance 100 all right so once after confirm just click ok all right now as you can see over here that the center point of this hole is still not fully defined it's, mean it's still not fully constrained so what i need to do that is that i'm going to align with uh, this particular of uh, center point to this origin vertically okay i need to align it vertically so what i need to do is that i need to pick this origin first click this one and then press control button on your keyboard do not release that control button yet and then you need to pick the center point of this hole so once uh, as you can see on your left side uh, once when the properties uh, manage, uh, already appeared on our manager design tree then you can release your control button and as what I did mention to you just now that I'm, I, I, I would like to ensure that both of these points should be aligned vertically. Therefore, I'm going to pick this vertical, okay, vertical icon for the add relations, vertical, okay. So there you are, it's appear here, vertical, and once after confirm, then click OK. And even you can see that the uh, this point, this center point of the hole already uh, converted from blue color to black color. It means that uh, uh, this particular of uh, point is uh, already fully defined. So once after confirm, okay, just rotate and you have a look first. Okay, once after confirm, then you can straight away click OK. Okay, there you are. You can hide this pin afterwards okay later on because okay now i'm going to show you another one more which is uh let's say counter uh, i'm going to make it counter sunk okay counter sunk or counter sink all right so i'm going to go to whole wizard and then i'm going to pick this one counter sink or also it is known as counter sunk so i'm going to pick this one I'm going to make sure that this one E and SI matrix, flat head screw, and then I'm going to make it the maximum one, which is M10. And it should be fit normal. And then I'm going to make, of course, definitely for both counter board as well as the counter sink, you, no matter how you need to have through all, or it cannot be blind, okay? It should be uh, basically in a real situation, both type of this hole should be true all right so once after confirm all these i'm going to go to i'm going to switch from uh, to position step and then you have to remember that first thing that i need to do is that i need to pick this plane first then i'm going to just simply locate my uh, positions okay, of this counter sign just click first and then it's much more better if you can pick the normal too and then i'm going to go to smart dimensions and i'm going to look at okay let's say this time i'm going to pick this one from this center point to this edge for the distance of the dimensions because just now i already showed to you uh, how are you going to indicate the distance between this hole to this origin but this time i'm going to pick this edge it doesn't matter you can pick here or you can pick to this origin as well no problem okay let's say again i'm going to make it 100 so once after confirm just click ok there you are and then i'm going to rotate and let's see how it looks like okay it's true all and once after confirm what you need to do is that you just need to click ok there you are so this is how it look, looks like same to go if you would like to apply for the counter ball Again, I'm going to go to hole wizard, then we're going to pick the counter ball hole, and let's say this time, I'm going to maintain the both standard and type of this hole, 
unless it is stopped by going to Masjid M16. And remember, I did mention to you previously that you need to make sure this is true on. Let's say if you like to change something on the 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 uh, op, uh the upper or the top uh, diameter of this counter ball, you can play around with this one. All right. Now uh, and uh, basically for the counter ball, the angle should be 90 degrees. Okay. However, I would like to stick with this uh, standard size, so I'm going just to. Uh, remain with all this particular of value. So once after confirm, I'm going to go up, uh, switch to position tabs and remember once again, okay, I would like to repeat that the first thing that you need to do is that you need to choose or pick this plane first and then later on you can, can just simply, I'm just I'm going to look at it somewhere around here. Alright, and then we switch to normal two. Okay. And then I'm going to pick my smart dimension from here to here. And this I'm going to make it 50. Oh, uh, just now for this particular of counter I for I forgot to you know align vertically. So you uh, you can we can do it later on okay afterwards. I will show to you. So once after confirm this one, and I'm going to pick this because I'm going to align it vertically. So I'm going to pick this one. And press control, click this one, and I'm going to click vertically. There you are. So I start to click OK. And you remember this one just now? I forgot to align it vertically. So I need to go to here. Okay, right click, and then I need to edit features. Okay. And then I'm going to switch to normal view so that easily for me to have a look. Then go to positions and remember. Okay, remember that, okay, uh, uh, we need to pick this one first, but before that, since I already edited it, so I'm going to right click my uh, mouse and then go select, so that I'm going to have arrow, okay, arrow, my cursor will be uh, switched to arrow instead of the pencil just now, okay, now I'm going to pick my origin over here, and then press control button, pick this one, and then I'm going to make sure that I'm, uh, it is vertical, vertically aligned, all right? So once to confirm, there you are, all right? So, okay, this is how it looks like. So you can play around, even you can uh, uh, create any hole at this side as well. Okay, let's say for example, I'm going to off this, or hide this particular off plane. This I'm going to pick here. Okay, I'm going to create here, somewhere around here. So, of course, definitely, I need to go to reference plane. And then for my first reference, I need to choose my right plane. Okay, since I'm going to create it over here. Kalau you nak buat, let's say, the whole uh, start here or here. So, you need to pick, of course, definitely the right plane. It should be parallel, right? So, my second reference is, again, this my curve surface of this cylinder okay you just simply click this one and i'm not going to apply perpendicular but i'm going to apply parallel which is parallel to my right plane my okay for my new sketch plane this one my new additional sketch plane should be parallel with my right plane my first reference just now which i've already selected so once after confirm just click okay and then straight away i'm going to pick my whole wizard at least I'm going to apply my again my counter ball, counter ball hole, and then okay. Let's say I'm going to maintain with M10. So once after confirm, I just need to go switch to position tab, and then I'm going to pick my plane first. After that, okay. Let's say I'm going to locate it at this point at this origin. So just simply go to here and pick this origin. There you are. So in this case, we no need to indicate any dimensions or we no need to uh, fully define it since we already selected at this particular of origin, which is 0, 0, 0 coordinates. So once after confirm, we just straight away click OK. It should be better than OK. So in that case, once after confirm, we just miss that. We need to constrain this. However, because it's indicated over there that, as you can see here, 
the counter sing diameter should oh, this is counter sing or counter ball should be counter sound okay okay i'll do it again i'll do it again so i'm going to pick hold wizard and then i'm going to make sure that my uh hole that i'm going to select is counter ball i'm going to maintain with this one positions go to here and then i'm going to make it somewhere about here so once after confirm i just need to click okay uh counter sync diameter okay eh? so i need to check first diameter oh you means that this one i need to change this one okay because once i click this one it said should be greater if it's a problem like this the counter sync it means the counter ball lah, okay it's uh should it should be a prompt counter ball not counter sync because you get confused counter counter sync is the other one so it should be uh greater than 21.48 but our diameter is 20 so i'm going to make it a uh, 22 okay 22 should be greater than 21.48 so i'm going to make it 22 so once after confirm so i'll just click okay there you are okay guys so you need to highlight all the prompt uh, or the error that appears so that you can modify it uh, on the okay on this particular on this particular sections okay guys so that how you can play around with the whole wizards on uh, curved surface uh, such as selenium all right guys so once after uh, we already created all this we can just simply hide our clean and this is how it looks like okay all right okay guys okay uh let's say the last one i'm going to create uh, the tap hole for both side here and here tap hole because this is a normal hole all right so i'm going to create a tap hole at this particular of uh area or section okay so i'm going to pick of course uh, let's say i'm going to clean to this one i'm going to show because i'm going to reuse this one so i'm going to choose hole wizard straight away and then this time i'm going to pick my uh hole uh, sorry here this one as well mentioned just now straight tap okay hole with thread which is thread that thread that hole so i'm going to remain with e and si matrix and then i'm going to go to tap hole and let's say i'm going to use um let's say i'm going to make uh, use um e thin okay m e thin uh, whereby the pitch of the thread is 1.5 and i'm going to make sure it's true all you can make it blind as well no problem okay uh, okay let's say we proceed to blind and i need to make sure that it should be uh, the depth of this threaded hole is let's say 60 mm all right same to go with this one this i'm going uh, this is the threaded threaded list i'm going to make it 50 mm you can make it 60 as well no problem okay but this uh this one i just would the threaded for the body of the uh this one the hole is uh 50 uh, never mind you you can make it 50 or you can straight go to 60 no 60 it means that the whole the whole surface inner surface of this one later on okay this one will will uh, will have three if 50 it means that only limo plus side lah limo plus on side yang akan ada three instead of 60 ke dalam body so uh, normally we can uh, have 60 as well no problem 50 also can 50 also can 60 also can but uh lah, we make it standardized so if the depth is 60 so make it 60 right so once after confirm can switch to position step and again i'm going to pick my plane here right and then i just simply look at something around here one here and another one is here so after that i'm going to switch to my normal two and then i'm going to go to smart dimensions and i'm going to indicate my distance let's let's say i'm going to make it 35 here same to go with this one and to this edge which is 35 all right so once after confirm we try have a look first okay should be okay so once after confirm we just need to switch uh click uh, or choose okay and okay there you are all right so this is how it's like all right
I'm going to hide this plane. And let's say if I uh, change this to Kidder Lines Visible, as you can see how does it looks like. Okay. So, you need, okay, this is traded hole, whereby this is the true hole, this is countable hole, countable hole, countable hole, and this is the countersign hole. Okay, so you can try out this one, okay, and I hope that you understand uh, how are we going to apply a hole wizard on a curved surface uh, for for a certain part for for a certain components okay guys so thank you for your attention thank you for watching this video and i will see you in our next video thank you very much